Hello and welcome to Video Jug. How does a telescope work? Telescopes are an incredible invention. They allow us to look into outer space and see the planets and stars so clearly that they seem close enough to touch. But how do they evolve? The first telescope was invented in 1608 by a Dutch eyeglass maker named Hans Lippershe. However, it wasn't until 1610 that the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei first used one to look into space. Though Galileo's first attempts at building a telescope were very crude, he was able to see craters and mountains on the moon, and also Jupiter's four largest moons circling the planet. Telescopes remained very much the same until 1671 when the British scientist Sir Isaac Newton realized that a mirror could be used instead of a lens to collect the light. In 1672, a French science teacher, Laurent Cassegrain, improved upon Newton's design. Galileo's telescope was what is known as a refracting telescope. Newton's telescope is called a reflecting telescope. And Cassegrain gave his name to the Cassegrain telescope. So how does a telescope work? A refracting telescope is a long tube with a convex lens at one end and an eyepiece at the other. Light comes in through the convex lens and is condensed or refracted towards the eyepiece. There, the image is magnified. A reflecting telescope uses a curved or concave primary mirror at the rear of the telescope. Light is collected by the mirror and is reflected back up the telescope tube until it reaches a secondary mirror set at a 45 degree angle. The image is then reflected out through the side of the telescope where it passes through a concave lens or eyepiece. Cassegrain's telescope is similar to Newton's, but it uses a convex mirror to reflect the image back down the tube to come out through the hole in the center of the primary mirror where it is received in the eyepiece. The benefits of Newton's and Cassegrain's telescope is that the mirrors can be made much larger than the lenses in Galileo's design, and so, much larger telescopes can be built. The largest refracting telescope in the world is the Yerkes Telescope near Chicago, USA. It has a lens 40 inches in diameter. One of the largest telescopes in the world, the Mount Palomar Telescope in the USA, uses Newton's reflecting design. It has a mirror which measures 5 meters or 200 inches in diameter. The Keck Telescope in Hawaii uses an array of 36 mirrors that combine to measure 10 meters across. You must never look at the sun through a telescope. Doing this could cause irreparable damage to your eyes. Telescopes make a distant object look larger, but they also magnify the light, making faint objects seem much brighter. A view of Orion looks like this to the naked eye. But through a telescope, the famous Orion Nebular can be seen in great detail. And the Andromeda Galaxy is a sight to behold. In 1991, NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit around the Earth. It is a reflecting telescope with a primary mirror of 2.4 meters, or 94 inches, in diameter. Because it is above the Earth's atmosphere, it has given us unprecedented images of deep space objects. But visible light is only a small part of the spectrum. Objects can also emit radio waves. And for these, we have radio telescopes. Radio telescopes have a giant dish which catches and reflects the radio signal to a receiver placed at the focal point. One of the largest radio telescopes is situated at Jodrell Bank in Northern England. So, whether you're all at sea or high in the sky, there is always something to see with a telescope. For more intriguing information about our solar system, check out our other films here on VideoJug.